Hello, everyone. It's me, Mr. Huggles, and I've become a goblin. Yay! Gob gob! <laughs> that was so stupid. Hey, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I thought she was going to kill herself. She's really low on HP. <laughs> We're testing healing today. If that wasn't an indication of stuff. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the magnanimous cloak and its special property of splitting, uh, sharing HP and stamina restoration with everyone else on the team. That's right. If you haven't seen this cloak before in action, it's actually quite nice. There are other things that can outshine it if you go into the DLC, but there's nothing that shares the effect with everyone on the team. And that's awesome. This can be quite the boon if you are in need of a stamina battery, a.k.a. a pawn that is constantly running out of its, like, burning through its own stamina, such as a ranger with Great Gamble, and then uh, restoring that stamina with mushrooms or something else, because that's going to go to everyone, which is a godsend on hard mode when you like to spam abilities. It's also a godsend when you're in BBI, and you have a bunch of King Warsh that needs to uh, be eaten. And everyone else gets the healing effects. That's pretty awesome, guys. Can you tell I like this cloak a lot? It's really fun. And it looks pretty nice, too. It's pretty easy to get as well. That aside, let's talk about how we're going to be testing this. Uh, there are a couple of ways in which you can affect it. Um, I guess to go over ways that in which you cannot affect it... Uh, the only one is pretty much any sort of passive effect that does gradual restoration. That includes the armors from BBI, such as the Immortal sets, the uh, Adept's Robe, and any level 3 armors that have gradual restoration uh, similar to those. So stuff that gradually restores the wearer, stuff that gradually restores those around the wearer. And um, the Magic Archer's Regeneration Augment, if I remember the name correctly. Um, it's pretty shit. <laughs> One HP every three seconds, but it's something. <laughs> it's definitely something, but it's not going to work with the uh, Cloak. The Cloak isn't going to pick up those healing effects and spread them amongst the team. So, uh, kind of unfortunate, but uh, definitely understandable. However... Uh, since the cloak does work with curatives, it does work with the augment efficacy, which gives an additional 20% to any curative that you use, whether it's stamina or HP. <clears throat> uh, excuse me there. Uh, I have gone ahead and lowered the health of both my pawns, and just to show you, I have efficacy on both myself and my main pawn. Uh, Agelos is quite handy. The uh, Rented Pawn, Immortalis, does not have efficacy, so he has nothing that will work with the cloak. And, uh, well, let's take a look here. Uh, I'm going to lower my health. I have altered Poison to um, take me all the way down to 100. That, uh, that can be done by file editing or just using D input. Uh, cure me, cure me. There we go. Don't, don't die to poison. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Oh, talk about a challenge run. <laughs> Make poison actually lethal. Oh man, but um, it's just really easy to look at and see gauge how much health we're re restoring with all these uh, curatives here. We're not going to go through too many curatives, hopefully, but uh, for our starters, we are going to look at the green wash. The green wash uh, restores 120 HP by default. And we're going to add some amount to it. I'm not really sure how much because I don't do math very well on the fly. I've already pre-calculated a lot of the stuff doing tests ahead of time. Um, but efficacy would boost that 120 by an additional 20%. And um, the uh, I guess that would just be 12 times 20% add a zero. To, whatever, fuck. <laughs> well, whatever, my brain's doing math now. Shit. Um but uh, we're going to see what happens when Agelos, who has efficacy, uh, shares that effect with everyone else. So let's give uh, her one green wash. And we'll take note of uh, my health is 100. Immortalis is 346. 
And uh, now I am at 136. Immortalis is at 376. So we didn't quite gain the same amount. Immortalis only gained 30 health, and I gained 36. So there's definitely a discrepancy here. And the discrepancy comes from the fact that he just doesn't have efficacy. You would think and hope that the person using the curative is going to boost that curative effect and then give that boosted effect to everyone else, even though it's only going to be, you know, tw like 25% or so of that uh, boosted effect. But unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way. And even weirder yet, uh, efficacy didn't give, you know, 20% on top of the 30 health that they would have regained. They only gained, you know, an additional 5% technically. So even so i guess the effect is not only quartering the amount of health they would have regained but it's also quartering the effect of that augment for some reason it's a weird uh overlay i think i kind of wonder if it's supposed to work that way or not but uh nothing we can really do to fix that i'm afraid um but i guess an additional five percent turning Turning 25% into 30 is pretty good if you didn't do the math already, uh, like I did ahead of time. Uh, it's a, The cloak has given us 25% of the original curative's effect, so that's, that's nothing to really consider good or bad. It's pretty, pretty basic. It's just good. Not great, but just good. Uh, and you can see why this might be actually helpful when you're running around with really high, high potent, uh, highly potent uh, curatives. Um, late game BBI DLC stuff, those heal a lot, and you need a lot of health restored at that point as well. Some people might look to carry a bunch of, you know, heavy potions that weigh a bunch. Vivifying Incense doesn't really weigh a whole bunch, but if you're running around with a bunch of Lordly Tonics and other stuff... Um, those can weigh those those weigh a lot. Uh, green wash, on the other hand, especially king wash and whatever, um, those and some mushrooms, they don't weigh a whole bunch. You can carry a whole bunch of them. So you can see how this might actually be really helpful if you're wanting to not weigh yourself down with a bunch of spring water or other curatives. And spring water doesn't really restore a whole bunch. I'm fairly certain king wash with a uh, magnanimous cloak might heal more to the whole party or as much as a spring water. So there's a lot of uh, fun setups you can do with this and actually make it really viable despite there being better armors from the DLC. Um, but uh, so yeah, here we go. We have uh, demonstrated that it does uh, spread it around and we've demonstrated how efficacy will affect its heal rate. Uh, let's take a look at uh, where did everyone go? Oh, where my other pawn go? Where? Oh, she's down there. <laughs> Everyone's so spread around. What the hell? <laughs> Immortalis, you're not even a pioneer. Why are you up there? Oh, whatever. Uh, one of the things that really got me interested in doing this video and test was uh, a recent update to the wiki. Uh, the wiki was recently updated. It said that rented pawns with this cloak do not uh i honestly can't remember the proper wording but it does not uh heal uh the spread the heals around or maybe they don't receive healing well they obviously just received healing from my pawn using it uh let's see if uh they will spread the heals around if they are the ones using a consumable uh so let's see i'm at 136 age is at 176 oh yeah 172 and now 212 so we got the shared effect from them using it <clears throat> let's see what happens if i uh you know give them a cloak maybe this is a weird glitch and gifted equipment you know doesn't have the special effect so uh immortalis here's a new cloak and you should still be low enough on health to uh what do you call it uh use a curative so 172 and 212. 208, 248. Yep. That worked. And I guess just a cover basis, what if I'm the one using? What if the Arisen is the one using this? Uh, so I'm at 208. Uh, I guess we're not looking at that. We need to look at Agelos and Immortals. 248 and 616. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> it definitely works. I don't know what the other person was observing. Maybe there's a limited range on the cloak. I haven't really seen limited range, but my pawns tend to not get that far away from me. Um, I could assume there's a range, but I could also assume that there's no range. I suspect there might not actually be a range, considering how the uh, quartered effect of the potency is going on. It almost seems like it's affected, applied to everyone on your team if you are wearing a cloak. So, um, yeah, weird, weird stuff. Um, I could try to run away, but eventually the pond is just going to teleport right to where I'm at. So, don't really feel like trying to test if it has a range or not, but it definitely does work, uh, range or no. Um, so that's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, not sure how people are making weird I false observations in this day and age for this game, but it's it's happening. Uh, there's enough old uh, postings on places like GameFAQs and whatnot where there's probably some someone picking up old info and reposting it somewhere thinking, oh, yeah, this is right, but nope. <laughs> this cloak gives you a 25% health. Uh, the wiki used to say uh, 10%. Perhaps 10% was the amount restored in the standard edition of the game. Not really certain. It's been a long time since I played that version. Uh and I don't exactly have any kind of save file set up that would be able to easily test this. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe 10% was correct, but only for the standard release. For Dark Arisen, at the very most, at the very most, wow, English. Uh, for Dark Arisen, though, we're seeing a 25% increase uh, or spread around for the party with curatives. And I guess to demonstrate stuff here, uh, we've seen that we have a green aura for uh, healing. Uh, with HP at least. If it's uh, Stamina Restoration, you'll see orange. Uh, just so that gives like a little idea that, oh yeah, the effect got spread around. Something that isn't spread, at least not that I remember, are Status Restorations. Status Restoration does not get spread around. So, uh, which is also kind of cool. I never really noticed too often that it has a blue color effect to it, so more visual cues in the game if you're you know playing without HUD or anything like that. <laughs> you see blue, you're having your status restored. See green, HP, orange, and stamina. Um, that blue had a really nice hue to it. <laughs> kind of got a salt spot for blue. Uh, there is something else I need to test. Um, it might be a little late, so I'm going to have to re reboot a little bit with a Godsbane. But uh, this augment, uh, augment, oh my god, this cloak does affect the uh, the inclination values. <laughs> If you're not aware, inclination values are adjusted up and down based off of the player's action and inactions, as well as some other things, stuff that pawns might or might not do as well. Um, and it's all situational based off of what's happening, um, or I guess what kind of situation you are in. Uh, let's set all that to 500. The uh, key thing to keep an eye on in here is going to be medicant and Nexus. And I think my medicate might go up when I cure my poison. Right. Yeah, we don't have to actually, but uh, I think it does if I was to cure, uh, cure like uh, the debilitation itself. But um, since I am at uh, critical health, technically 35% or less, medicate will go up. But also, since at least one pawn is at 35% or less, Nexus will go up. Those are triggers within the game's code for when these uh, inclinations will be increased. So let's give a, uh, well, we don't have to give, we just have to use. Uh, should see the increase. Ah, what happened? Oh, after I leave screen, right. I thought the game broke for a moment. Uh, so we saw there we have a 3.5 increase on Medicant, and we have a uh, 25 point increase on Nexus. And I'm going to cure my poison before I forget. And yeah, curing my debilitation also cured my, uh, or not cured, increased my inclination value. So yeah, there's probably some old rumors. I'm fairly certain I've seen it before. Some people saying that this using this cloak will boost your medicant or Nexus, and other people saying it doesn't. 
Uh, similar stuff has happened with, you know, people saying reviving pawns affecting Nexus. Reviving pawns won't uh, do anything to inclinations, but restoring your HP definitely does. You just have to make sure that the uh, target is at 35% or less health, which is typically seen as critical health, but you can be at 35% remaining HP and be green, so it's not necessarily critical, just at or slightly above critical, basically. Um, Immortalis, man, you're still low. Uh, kind of a fun fact, I guess, to add on to this. Uh, if you are ever running around at 35% or less health for, I forget, some a few minutes, some amount of time. I don't have my notes with me right now. Um, but if, if you run around long enough without restoring and pulling your character out of basically critical health, then your medicant and nexus will start going down. So I guess pay attention to that. But if you're wondering why your medicant and nexus is creeping up and you know you're like yourself or maybe one of your pawns is wearing this cloak pay attention to the health and uh how, what you know what health your characters were at when they were being uh healed in terms of proxy to the cloak wearer uh that could be, result in having your uh inclination shift around and you might get a new secondary or possibly primary depending on uh where your medicant and nexus were at prior to uh any healing but uh, that uh, just about does it. This cloak has quite a lot of uses. It's um, definitely not garbage when you get to the DLC. There's, there's stuff with some better, cooler effects, but this is definitely not an effect that has no place in the late game. So keep an eye out for it. It's not terrible. It's, uh, I guess, sum up summary again. Uh, it restores 25 or shares 25 percent of the curative with everyone else and it will get a uh, five percent boost from your um efficacy augment instead of 25 instead of 20 oh my god brain <laughs> add not working today maybe it is oh god that's scary <laughs> anyway guys i'll see you next time this has uh been fun and uh hope you guys enjoy the game and enjoy the cloak later